I always wanted a car that a, that a young fellow in 1950 would have built with parts that were available at the time. So in 1977, Tom Russell set out to build his first hot rod. A 1927 Ford Model T restored with parts found during the 1950s. And the interesting thing is, when I was building this car, nobody wanted any of this stuff. It, it was performance items for that period and people were, were then using Chevrolet V8s and Chryslers and this stuff was, was underneath the bench of most people's workshop and I started collecting it and now uh, this is extremely popular. So it's gone full circle, it's, it's like bell bottoms, I'm waiting for them to come back in. may be a while until bell bottoms are cool again, but Tom says that restoring classic cars in a traditional sense may be gaining popularity. There are so many modified cars that are, are modified to today's standards, and here is, I think, what is known as a traditional hot rod. Uh, I think you may hear more of that in the future, because there seems to be a movement back to these. And it's been modified with the addition of a 1941 Ford V8 engine and Lincoln brakes from the 1940 Lincoln. The wheels are 1935 Ford, they're 16 inch, and the rear axle assembly is a Hellebrandt quick change, which is an old race car item that I incorporated into it. Tom started his restoration project back in 1977. It took him six years to build the Model T, and most of it was done by himself. In those years, I was a, an aviation mechanic and I acquired a lot of very good skills, painting, uh, of course, mechanical work, a, a good grounding in electricity. So I did everything myself. I had very little money in this car. It, it was just more of a, a labor of love for me and, and a fun thing to do. When you notice this Model T, it looks like a hybrid between a horse carriage and a car. This automobile was a transitional period from horse-driven to horsepower. Although 1886 is regarded as the year of the modern automobile, it wasn't until Ford introduced their Model T that cars became popular. The Ford Model T was manufactured from 1908 to 1927, and it was the first automobile to be mass produced. This allowed it to be accessible and affordable for the working class family. Henry Ford made the Model T for, from about 1908 or 9 till 27, he used basically the same engine, 20 horsepower. Uh, it did not have front brakes. Uh, but I don't think that was a concern with people who had any amount of experience on it because it didn't drive fast. These cars didn't have too many luxuries inside either. A radio in a car was unheard of. No seat belts. The Model T is an open concept with no protection from the cold winters. You can see the windshield wiper is hand operated. You use your hand and you just swing it back and forth. It's stowed in a position. You can't really see it, but it's there. And it also passes the legal requirements. <laughs> and even though Tom's been driving this Model T for the last 35 years, it still has a lot of miles to put on it. In Qualicum, I'm Ray and the Plants.